Hello, and in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the procedural stairs. So as you can see here in my scene, I have multiple stairs, which are all generated by one tool made in Houdini. So we can have, for example, here a version that is bent, a longer version, shorter version, and a version that is bent to the other side with like a high handle. So the tool has multiple options to get the stairs you would like to have in your game. Now for the tool itself, it is driven by a line you draw. So here we have a line, and with the plugin installed, we can manipulate this line here in real time in Unity. And as you can see, it's also working quite fast, that we instantly see results when we release our line. So we can fine tune what you would like to have in our game. And of course, we have also multiple settings. Like, for example, we can get the width, we can change the width, we can add a height here. We can also increase this part. We can also increase the handle height. We can add some lights here on the side. So that's also possible. And it is also possible for deformations. So let's say you want a bent version, we have then a build in bent option that bends the stairs, like you would see here. So in this case, it might be too too extreme. We can easily lower it by changing the value over here. And we can also change how far it should go, so we don't deform the original shape too much. So we have some options in there to make it feel good. There are also options here for UVs and the way you, our UVs are done is by a trim texture. So in here I have one material for my stairs and it looks something like this. So we have a trim sheet. Our UVs will be properly placed on the space we would like to have them. So you can use your own trim sheet and decide where the UV pieces should come. So as you can see here, this piece is nicely tiled along the end. So you can clearly, for example, here see some tiling by these details and they return over here. So if we make a very long stairs, the trim sheet will automatically continue. As you can see here, the details keep tiling nicely and so on. So we have in real time unwrapped the model on the trim sheet. So we don't have to bake anything and everything uses the same material. So all these stairs here are using one material called the trim sheet for stairs. And in here we also have some sorting values. So we can sort values where UV should be. So for example, I have a part that is emissive and if I don't want the emissive part, I can here play around with the sorting values and you can see I can increase and decrease which UV shells should be on the emissive part. And this is really nice to have, to have control on where the UVs are in game engine. So in here I have a version that doesn't have these lights everywhere. But if you want a little bit lights, then we can easily sort the values here. And I built also in a multiplier, so we can multiply or stretch the texture a little, a little bit. So this is maybe too much. So we can make different results. And here in Houdini, I will quickly go over the steps of building this. So of course, we will start from this line because this will be our basic input. And then we convert this line to a flat beginning and a flat ending. Then we will use the sweep node and in Houdini 18, they have updated the sweep node and it can also manage automatic unwrapping. And we can already see here that we assigned colors on certain parts. So red means that they are small parts. That means they will be using the small details of my trim sheet. Green will be the middle part of the medium size. So these will use medium shapes of my trim sheet. And blue is then the big size, which is my big piece of my trim sheet. Then in this loop, then we decide where our UV should come. 
So for example, a small shell should come over here. Then for a medium, it should be placed here. And for a large, it should be placed here. And because we do this in a loop, the loop will do this automatically for all the UVs. So at the end of the loop, you will have automatically all the UVs of this model. So by controlling one loop at a time, we have fully procedurally unwrapped this. And this system is then also here used for one of the stair steps. So we do the same technique with the red ones, small ones, green middle ones and blue large ones. So we have very similar approach to this model as well. And then we copy this model on our original line that we have. So we have now also these support piece with then the stairs on them. Then we also here have the handle parts and here again I will use some of the new features from Houdini 18 where we have automatic unwrapping and so on. Then when we are finished with our model I can here have then the option to choose to bend it. As you could see here I have added some extra topology to make sure everything is nicely bended and if you want, you can control this amount of topology added. What is also possible is that you can build custom colliders. So this is here a small example on how can I generate a custom collider. So as you can see here, this model is then also procedurally generated based on this input. So that's also great to know that we can procedurally generate also our colliders if you're looking for that. So then we have our final model. I will also be using some tools from SideFX Labs. So in Houdini 18, they moved from game tools to SideFX Labs. So if you have not installed them, go here at the top, search for the SideFX Lab tools. So right here and click on update and this should also install them. So you have the tools loaded in your project. So here back in Unity, once everything is done, in Houdini, we can have then this tool that can generate multiple versions based on what you would like to have in your level. That was it for the overview and I hope you will be start watching these tutorials soon. Thank you for watching.